Hey everyone, it's Eldroid. Today we're going to make slap house out of plastic straws, because why not? Alright, let's cut this audio file up into some usable stuff. I think we can use the first bit to get some tonality. Here's a funny laugh. <laughs> and the rest of the sample. And I made this pattern out of it. All right, because this is slap house now, we're going to use a very house-like kick and introduce the slap house analog bass. And for the guys who wonder, it's literally the first bass preset in Harmor because I didn't feel like making one. And the analog bass combined with the kick is something pretty nice already. Because this part is an intro, I'm not gonna let you hear all the frequencies of that analog bass. So I made a sub in three times oscillator and used the saw wave to create another bass for this. Combine this with the kick, the analog bass and our little pattern and you got this. Now to fill up some space, I made this. It's just a sample again, but it's vocoded again. So what did I vocode? Of course, some saw waves, because what else are you gonna vocode? Now let's turn the vocoder on. You don't really notice that I use a sample here, but it gives a nice little texture. Uh, yeah, I need to use the sample somewhere and I ran out of ideas, so here it is. <laughs> now combine this all and you have a really nice intro. All I did for this section of the track is made sure the analog bass came back, built up the sub so it would have more high end, and reintroduced the vocoded sample. Just before the build up, I introduced this little drum loop, reintroduced the kick and the clap. And now I made sure that the sub slowly faded away so I could make full use of the analog bass. That's why at the start of this section, it's still pretty empty. But at the end here, it's full range. Now use the little riser, introduce a snare roll, and you have a build up. For the first section of the drop, I brought back the sample loop and made sure that the analog bass was full range so it would have the most impact in the drop. After the first four bars, I introduced the clap. And then after the eight bars, I filled the low frequencies out for it to come back in with more instruments. More instruments are equal to uh, the vocoded sample and a right sample to fill up the space between the percussion. So that's basically the whole track already. At the end, I decided to use a little vocal sample that I recorded just to fill up some space. And that's the full track. Uh, just so you know, I'm probably going to avoid this genre ever again, because I think it's a pretty lazy genre. Don't get me wrong, listening to this genre is pretty fun, but making it is pretty boring. So that's why I'd rather stick to dubstep. So here's the full track. Oh, <laughs> 
So I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'm going to stay away from Slap House for now and create some more dubstep instead of this. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.